Mr. Chairman and members of the committee, the record, Senator Brian Munslinger, and today I present before you Senate Bill 894. It's a uh, bill that deals with uh, tort actions and contractual agreements uh, the higher it, uh, the interest rates and the interest rates that are in this we're capping those we're putting some new provisions in there currently it's nine percent i know uh nine percent to me sounds pretty high i guess it depends on which end you're on but if I, you're paying it it sounds pretty high uh, but the prejudgment is uh at prime plus two or five percent cap and the post judgment is at prime uh, plus two or five percent cap also it deals with those two provisions uh, in pre-judgment <coughs> in what i've understood some cases drag out and if they can get nine percent that's that's uh, causes some of those cases to be drug out in my opinion way too long the senator really summed it up pretty well it's fairly simple uh, piece of legislation that doesn't change anything fundamental about the law. It really is just a recalibration of the interest rate um, calculation that already exists in law. Um, when the law was passed uh, originally back in the, I think the 90s, and then there was a tweak again in 2005, our interest rate picture was different than it is today. Uh, you know, having a cap of 9% today doesn't seem, uh, doesn't seem like a terrifically good idea. I think we've seen the, the higher interest rate caps are on both pre and post judgment, the longer that tends to uh, drag out litigation, for, particularly in the types of uh, cases that, that uh, well, the, the statute deals with both tort and non-tort actions, but particularly in your tort actions, I think uh, seeing the higher interest rates um, tends to prolong that litigation. So uh, again, this is a recalibration using prime as the base, prime plus two. Uh, for those times when we have a, uh, a significantly lower interest rate within a 5% uh, a hard cap overall. Be happy to answer any questions.